that thing. Feel it. Oh. Inhale. I'm feeling something. Hold it. <laughs> hold it. You gotta hold it. Exhale. Oh. Child's pose. He'll start running up. You're gonna circle behind. Turn around. Because he's gonna hand it off to you. So it's gonna be like this. The 35 game losing streak, it was, an, it, it was really embarrassing for us. The core group of guys that we have on the team now have always been with it. And no matter what, they always stick with football and knew that if they continued to put in the work, then one day we would see what we all wanted. We still gave it our all. It was practice. Um, people kept telling us that like, we have no heart. Maybe you know, this ain't the right sport for us. But when you think about it, we lost 35 games in a row and we're still out here practicing every day. There's something there that's driving us to win. You know? Uh, we went through a winless season last year with Pringle, but it takes him a year. You know, it's going to take time. Uh, we're Tom, almost built in one day kind of saying. Hustle back. Let's go. Let's run. Oh, no. Coach lined up this whole summer on just beating Corona. We didn't worry about anybody else. Um, we were going to we were gonna beat the streak that first game, and we knew it. Before the first kick return, because we got the ball first, he was like, you know, we're going to take this one back right here. First play of the game, we're going to score a touchdown. And they kicked it right to me, and I took it 80 yards back for the first touchdown of the game. I remember just seeing this big, gigantic hole, and I just remember yeah, I was smiling the whole way. With less than two minutes left, we ran one of our plays, and I'm blocking, and I look up, and I see number 28 cutting back for the end zone, and it was just, it was just an explosion of emotion. It was, it was a zoo. It was pandemonium. You know, they say act like you've been there before, but uh, quite honestly, our kids, uh, that was a brand new deal. Week two, we were still just so beside ourselves that we finally won a game. And it was hard to come back down to earth and focus up for Holly, which we knew was going to be a tough matchup. We ended up losing. The kids themselves were the ones that came in and said, hey, listen, coach, we didn't hold that line. You know, the kids understood the difference between the week we'd had previous and the week after that. Hey, we need to tighten up. It is ridiculous not knowing our stuff out here. We've been doing this for five, six months now, okay? Just, that effort is stupid, irritating me Hey, so we much. start out to practice really well, and then once we get tired, we go downhill. Sure. Hey, we are not gonna do this tomorrow night. We're gonna salvage this. We gotta finish with defense, we gotta finish Corona game's over, let's go. Hey, Trojans on three! One, two, three, Trojans! After the Holly loss, it was kind of a, it was kind of like a wake up call. Like, you know, we can't coast off one win, you can't stop working. Every single day you get into the weight room, every single day you get onto the practice field, you have to better yourself and better your teammates or else you're just gonna fall behind and have another losing streak. We kinda had to learn a new lesson on how to deal with success. Um, you know, that uh, you better find ground zero and get back to level-headed after you've had that success the same way you need to when you face adversity. And, and I think the yoga has been part of helping us there. I remember when we first started, everyone was laughing because they all thought it was so stupid. But as we got into it, the lady, she really got our like, minds focused towards you know, playing football and getting ready for the week and preparing yourself and you know, keeping yourself healthy. Just a simple thing is breathing. Um, you know, so much of getting your breath under control um, helps to center you and get you back where you need to be and she does a lot of mental imagery things and picture yourself making that play, picture yourself when something goes bad, where you're gonna go in your mind to find your center again. And you know, when we talk about hitting that reset button, I think that's, that's all, part of that, uh, all part of that process. I really like yoga. A lot, not a lot of kids bought into the program at first, but I think as it went on, people started realizing that it helps us mentally focus for the week. After, you just feel like a whole different person. Mentally strong, physically strong, your body feels amazing. So I recommend it for a lot of all football teams. Oh. Child pose. A lot of the team, they're really into it. Um, Preston, big man over there, he'll, during the middle of practice, get into a yoga stance and just lay on the ground for five minutes. Yeah, um, it's a funny sight to see, I guess you could say. But uh, let's say you know the other team scores a touchdown on us. That's the moment you sit there, you relax, you meditate, you calm down, you really coop up, I guess you could say. You've got to have an eight-second burst of absolute focused effort 
with everything you have, and then you've got to be able to reset, then let the emotion of what just happened uh, gone and get back to ground zero and, and play again. That's what we're trying to emphasize with kids is a mental toughness, a physical toughness that, uh, you know, they're, no matter what's thrown at you, man, uh, all you control is how you respond and rise above it.